The MiG-35 was meant to restore the Mikoyan Aircraft Corporation's former glory, but the project has faltered. Although marketed as a fourth-generation plus fighter with some advanced capabilities, it remains fundamentally outdated compared to fifth-generation aircraft. The MiG-35 struggles raise doubts about Mikoyan's future, especially as the war in Ukraine intensifies. Despite Russia's urgent need for advanced warplanes in the Ukraine war, Mikoyan has delivered only six of the 37 MiG-35 units ordered by the Russian Defense Ministry. This production shortfall highlights Mikoyan's ongoing difficulties in adapting to the post-Soviet economic environment. The MiG-35 certainly has all the promise of being the warplane to bring Mikoyan back to prominence, especially relative to its rival Russian defense contracting firm, Sikhoi. But it is not a fifth-generation warplane. Like the Su-27, it is merely a fourth-generation plus bird. Since the end of the Cold War, though, the company has languished in mediocrity. Their decline was obvious by the time the MiG-1.42-1.44 fifth-generation warplane ended in total failure. Unable to recover, the firm tried to reorganize and adapt to the new, harsher realities of the post-Soviet Russian economy. The MiG-35, announced in 2017, was supposed to be Mikoyan's return to greatness. The MiG-35, announced in 2017, was supposed to be Mikoyan's return to greatness. Mind you, the F-16 is a fourth-generation warplane. It's an older platform compared to the MiG-35. But fundamentally, they belong to the same family of warplanes and as this Air Force officer explained to me. Those in the F-16 community are finding it increasingly difficult to keep the bird competitive with the new systems being fielded. Even though the MiG-35 has newer components, it is still a fourth-generation plane that might have to go up against a fifth-generation enemy plane. Those who say the MiG-35 is more than just a fourth-generation plane might be right. After all, like the F-15 EX Eagle II or the Su-27, the MiG-35 has more than the ordinary fourth-generation warplane technologies. It has some fifth-generation components and capabilities that pure fourth-generation systems lack. In any case, Mikoyan has had great difficulty mass-producing the warplane. This harms Russia's strategic position, but Mikoyan has yet to deliver more than six of the 37 MiG-35 units that the Russian Defense Ministry ordered. But those who continue making this argument ignore that Russia's industry has thus far managed to survive Western sanctions. What's more, their economy, while nowhere near as prosperous as the United States has not collapsed as Western economists had assumed it would after sanctions were tightened. Mikoyan's factories, though, have not produced this warplane in the quantities Russia needs. That's good for the Ukrainians, who would undoubtedly be killed by these planes. From the Russian perspective, it's not helpful, as they need every advanced airframe they can get their hands on to end the war in their favor. Therefore, in all probability, the problem is with Mikoyan. This wouldn't be the first time that Mikoyan fails to deliver. Given the stakes of the Ukraine war, it might well be the last. The Russians have already invested considerable time and resources into this warplane. The war should have given Mikoyan the push it needed to complete its task.